Hi, this is Dr. Scott Watson. I really like the sound innovations band method and I've used it with my students for years. In this video, I'm going to share with you some of my favorite songs from book one and why I like them so much. Regardless which songs you're playing in Sound Innovations Book 1, it's a lot of fun to use the play along tracks in Smart Music. To get a Smart Music account, visit smartmusic.com or visit my website, drwatsonmusic.com forward slash download music, where you can find detailed information on signing up. And did I mention that Book 1 in Sound Innovations is free? <laughs> okay, let's get started. My first favorite song that I'd like to highlight is This Old Man. It's number 58 in Sound Innovations Book 1. What I like about This Old Man is that it uses the first six notes taught to band students. It also uses eighth notes, and that's what makes it a little challenging for younger players, but it also makes it fun once you master them. Remember, eighth notes go twice as fast as quarter notes. If the quarter notes in This Old Man are at this speed, ta, 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 then the eighth notes will be twice as fast. T, 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 T. Or if you're counting them like we do in band, one and two and three and four and. If you're a more advanced player and this old man is not that hard for you, make it challenging by picking up the tempo and taking it faster. Okay, my next favorite song from Sound Innovations Book One is Hey Ho, Nobody's Home, number 61 in the book. Some great reasons to work on Hey Ho, Nobody's Home are that it's in 2-4 time signature, meaning that there's only two beats per measure. Another reason to work on Hey Ho are the uh, use of eighth notes again throughout, so you get to count those uh, eighth notes. And a third reason to work on Hey Ho, Nobody's Home is the low note that's used in measure four and again near the very end the second to last measure you might have to check the fingering chart in your book or a fingering chart online uh, but that low note is uh, good for you to be playing perhaps the best thing i like about hey ho nobody's home is the fun accompaniment track in smart music it kind of reminds me of the gilligan's island theme song but anyway when i when i play hey ho nobody's home i really enjoy playing along with the track Alrighty, the next song on Dr. Watson's favorite list is number 74, Stodola Pumpa. Did you know that Stodola Pumpa is Czech, Czechoslovakian that is, for a water pump? That's what the title means, water pump. Anyway, I just love this song and I love the fun accompaniment. And uh, it's another song where you get to work on counting eighth notes. There's this repeated rhythm of tee tee ta, tee tee ta, eighth eighth quarter, eighth eighth quarter, which would be counted one and two, three and four. Anyway, that, that's good to work on in the, uh, in the song and tonguing and articulation, you know, how you start every note with a clear sound. Another thing that's kind of neat about this song is once you master the first line, the second line's easy. It's almost the same thing. A lot of times music is like that where there's patterns and repetition. And once you master one part of a song, you'll find it used later in the song. So Stoda La Pampa is certainly that way. And again, if you're a more advanced player and this song isn't that hard for you to play, then why not take it a little bit faster and have some fun with a quicker tempo? All right, and the final selection in Dr. Watson's favorite in Sound Innovations Book One is number 107, Ode to Joy. This melody, known the world over, was written by German composer Ludwig van Beethoven back in the 1800s for his Ninth Symphony. What I like about this song is that it uses the dotted quarter, eighth note rhythm, and that's a rhythm that all young band players should learn to play. The dot adds half the value of the note it's attached to. A quarter note is one beat long, so the dot extends the note by an additional half beat, making a dotted quarter note one and a half beats. It's all of beat one and half of beat two. 
The other half of beat two is a single eighth note. The measure is counted one and two and three and four and, and sounds like this. One and two and three and four and. Finally, the song is longer than it at first appears. On paper, it looks like it's only 12 measures, but at the end of measure 12, you see the instruction DS al fine. DS stands for del segno. What that means is the sign. So you go back to the sign, that fancy S above measure five. Jump back to measure five and start playing, but you only play until the word fine, which means the end. By the way, all of these terms, del segno, fine, they're Italian terms, and we find that a lot used in music. So the roadmap for this song is play the first 12 measures, go back to measure five, at the end of measure eight, you stop. Well, there you have it. Those are some of Dr. Watson's favorite songs in Sound Innovations, book one. I'd love to hear what your favorite songs in the book are. What's important is that you keep playing your instrument and getting better as a musician. Until next time, this is your virtual band director, Dr. Watson.